Business Scenario Holona Tyler is the automation manager with Horizon Telecom Incorporated has decided to automate their manual testing process of log scanning and verification checkpoints. The current process has almost 300 scenarios to be tested for three environments each. It's really vital to test all positive and negative scenarios and ensure good health of very agile product they have. Automation Tool Capability Checklist Connect to multiple Linux-based environment over SSH. Execute Linux commands. Verify static traces from logs in test script. Verify dynamic traces from logs in test script. Execute shell scripts to start slash stop servers. Data-driven testing for positive slash planned scenarios. Check for success messages via test script. Check for error messages via test script. Provision for explicit weights in test script. Provision for setting up variables in test script. Hi, this is Nero and I would demonstrate how you can connect to Linux environments and how you can perform logs verification over SSH. So the first thing is to go to configuration and add the configurations to your Linux environment. You can select the FTP or SFTP as a protocol. You can specify the alias, hostname, port number, username and password. Once these details are added, you can check the connection. And once the connection is established, you can go and make use of that in the scripts that you're going to write. So here is our first test, which is going to verify whether the Tomcat has been started properly or not. So we'll be having a couple of verification points. One is to go through the catlina.out log file and look for the logs and other is to look for port number 8080 whether it is in listening mode or not. So we'll be writing our first command that is run remote command. We'll be specifying the connection to be used as the one that we just tested and we'll be going to the Tomcat directory and we'll be executing the script which starts the Tomcat. Once that command is executed, we'll be waiting for say 1000 milliseconds just to ensure that the Tomcat is properly started. Then we'll be going to the logs directory and we'll be looking for this particular statement that is info colon server startup in file catlina.out and we'll be counting the number of occurrences that we'll be storing in Tomcat starter status as a variable. And then we'll be comparing this particular value to be more than zero. If it is okay, then the method should be passing. So here we are calling a method called compare greater than and we are passing this particular variable. And here is our method which compares for greater than. So if it is greater than zero, then we'll be simply saying that comparison has passed or otherwise it will be explicitly failing the method. So once we are back from that particular method, we'll be again executing one more command. That is, we are going to check the ports that are right now being listening on that particular machine. We are particularly looking for 8080 and it should be in the listen mode. And again, we are taking the count that we are storing in port status. Later, we'll be doing the same verification check for port status as a variable to be more than zero. And if it is okay, it will pass the test case. So I'm going to execute this particular test case. So it should make a connection to Tomcat and it should go to the Apache Tomcat directory, it should go to the bin, then it should be executing the Tomcat started command, then it should be waiting for 
a second and now it should be checking through the logs for the particular statements and once that checkpoint passes it should be uh, checking for the another statement that is checking whether the port is alive or not and finally we are going to stop tomcat as a final command so if all the verification points has passed our test case should result in pass status you can see that there are logs being printed on the console like this and it has executed and you could see that it has passed it took almost 1.8 minutes and here is the step by step execution here is the verification number 1 that is stated as pass and here is the verification 2 that is for checking the port and uh, that is all thank you